Hey, how y'all doing out there? I'm here to bring you a video on ants and what they do with their fellow colony members that pass away. Somebody asked me a question they want to know. What will the ants do when they pass away and what will other ants do with their bodies? And how do you clean the tank? Now, the answer I have for you is this. Don't need to worry. They will not leave the ants in the bottom of the tunnel, so you don't have to worry about trying to get somehow to the bottom of the tunnels and get rid of the ants. They will actually bring them to the top of the nest. Along with the rest of their waste and food that they didn't eat, it's going to start molding quickly. And as you can see right here in the middle of the screen, you have a pile of ants that aren't moving. And these ants are actually dead. And to the left of them, you can actually see a little discoloration. It looks like maybe the sand is a little different color. But what that is is actually food and uh, I believe it's a little piece of lettuce and things that uh, probably went bad and they don't want anymore. And uh, they're trying to get rid of it. So they place everything inside of a pile, kind of like a waste dump, exactly what humans do. We make waste dumps all around the country and uh, they make their own little waste dumps so they can get rid of all the fungus and mold and anything that's dead or dying and... Uh, place them to the pile. I've actually noticed that um, if an ant is injured or sick or uh, isn't really, it's not actually dead but it's still it's, it's on the verge of dying, they will actually carry it and place it inside this pile with the other ants and, um, and let it die in the pile with the other ants. Um, I found that really strange. Uh, if an ant just injured, they'll just get rid of them. But uh, that appears to be what they're doing. You can see other little discolorations right there, like I said, alongside the uh, pile of dead ants to the left of it, and that's actually food. And um, what they're doing is placing the food along with the uh, dead ants. Any food that I guess is going bad or uh, they're trying to get rid of it, they'll place it inside the tank right there on the corners. And they're trying to place it on the back edge so that it doesn't interfere with their trails. And over here you can see another pile too. Now, you're going to want to get rid of this stuff, like I said before, because it's going to cause mold and bacteria to grow inside the ant farm, and you don't want that. So the best thing to do is, um, I, I found the best thing to do is to use a vacuum cleaner, a bagless vacuum cleaner. And actually, um, I don't know if anybody's ever heard, it depends on how deep your tank is, and this one's fairly deep, and it's you know fairly narrow. That's the problem with ant farms is that they're narrow, so it's hard to get inside them and clean them. And what I found works the best is actually a thing called the uh, lint lizard. You actually use it to clean out your dryers and um, to clean the lint out your dryers. And uh, that thing is great for ant farms. And what I do is this. You take the lint lizard, you hook it up to your vacuum cleaner, and you actually suck little areas really quickly so you don't suck up you know, any live ants. And you have to move quickly because they will attack you. They will attack the uh, the tip of the hose. And the more they come to try to attack the hose, you actually just start sucking them up. But they will try to attack it. Um, so what you want to do is this. You want to turn it on and quickly suck up the dead ants. And what I like to do is place the ants. I like to take the, the container from the vacuum cleaner and pour it inside of a plastic bowl put a lid on it, and place it inside the refrigerator. Leave it in there for about five minutes or so, five to six minutes. Come back, and you'll notice that the ants have actually slowed down, and they're actually having a hard time moving because it's cold. And when you do this, that'll give you an opportunity to take, a, uh, take the lid off and use a pair of tweezers or um, probably like a small spoon and actually scoop out the live ants into another container and leave the dead ants in the bowl. And you can just disregard them, I guess throw them in a trash can or throw them outside or whatever it is you want to do with them. Uh, they're dead, so it doesn't really matter. But um, I found that method works pretty good for me. And um, it doesn't, don't worry about hurting the ants. As long as you don't leave the vacuum cleaner on running for a very long time, you know, you're not going to really hurt them or harm them. I've done this many times before, and it doesn't seem to affect the ants at all. Um... So all you have to do, like I said, is just suck them up in a vacuum cleaner. Make sure it's a bagless vacuum cleaner. Place them inside the refrigerator with a lid on it. Come back five or six minutes later and scoop out the live ants into another bowl. 
And just to let you know, um, you might want to kind of uh, do this inside the refrigerator, place another bowl inside the refrigerator, because if you take them out and you sit them on the counter and try to scoop them out, uh, they will actually start moving fairly quickly. It doesn't take long for them to warm back up. And once they warm up, they'll be all over the place. So I actually uh, I kind of left the refrigerator door open and set another bowl inside the refrigerator and um, did this process. And it worked out fairly well for me. Um, I didn't have but one escapee that I found later on that evening. But um, it works out fairly well because they, they have a hard time moving. But if you have any more questions about an ant farm or want to know uh, some tips or things you can do to maintain an ant farm, feel free to shoot me an email or post your question down at the bottom, and I will get back to you as soon as possible.